Elsewhere around the world, President Vladimir Putin announced a partial military mobilization following a backlash from Western countries for the Kremlin to Kremlin's attempt rather to annex regions in Ukraine. So far, four areas under Russian military control announced plans for urgent referendums on joining Russia. Kim jong shil has the latest. The Russian leader said on Wednesday that he has signed a decree ordering a partial military mobilization due to start on Wednesday. To protect our motherland, its sovereignty and territorial integrity, to ensure the security of our nation and people in the liberated territories, I consider it necessary to support the proposals of the Defense Ministry and the General Staff to conduct a partial mobilization in Russia. He also said the West is trying to destroy Russia and that Russia is prepared to use all its resources in its defense. Putin's address comes a day after four regions in Ukraine under Russian control announced plans to hold referendums on joining Russia. The eastern and southern Ukrainian regions that will take part in the referendum are Luhansk, Donetsk, Zaporizhia and Kherson. Russia annexed Crimea in 2014 in a similar manner, despite drawing international condemnation back then as well. The White House strongly condemned the move. Let me be clear. If this does transpire, and obviously it's not a done deal yet, but if this does transpire, the United States will never recognize Russia's claims, claims to any purportedly annexed parts of Ukraine. And we will never recognize this territory as anything other than a part of Ukraine. Other countries such as France and Germany also condemned the scheduled vote. French President Emmanuel Macron told reporters on Tuesday that the referendum result will not be recognized by the international community. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz said, quote, these sham referendums cannot be accepted. The referendum for the four regions will be held from Friday until next week. Kim Jong-sil, Arirang News.